Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with the 5th unit inferential statistics. Here I will solve the questions from exercise 5.1 from chapter 5 of the CBSA handbook or the student support material. Now the first question from exercise 5.1, identify the below statement as biased or unbiased statement. Justify your answer. For a survey about daily mobile users by students, random selection of 20 students from a school. So a survey is being conducted about the daily mobile users by the students and 20 students from a school are randomly selected. Since here the students are randomly selected, the statement is an unbiased statement. So this is an unbiased statement. As the students are randomly selected. has 20 students that is the sample. Moving on to the next question, find the critical t value for alpha equal to 0 0.01 with degrees of freedom equal to 22 for a left tail test. So if we see the left tail test, we have the critical t value here. This is negative. This is the origin and here we have the negative side and this is the positive side. So for alpha equal to 0 0.01 and for left tail test we have to see the area in, in one tail for 0 0.01 and degrees of freedom is 22. So the value is 2.508. So, for the first subdivision, critical t value is 2.508 with a negative sign because it is in the negative side. Then the second subdivision, find the critical t values for alpha equal to 0 0.1 with degrees of freedom equal to 18 for a two-tailed T test. So here we have the area in, in two tails for alpha equal to 0 0.1 and degrees of freedom equal to 18. The value is 2 point, I am sorry it is 0 0.1, so it is 1.734. So here we will have minus 1.734. And here we will have plus 1.734. So for the second subdivision, the critical t values are minus 1.734 and plus 1.734. If the calculated value, if it falls between the range minus 1.734 to plus 1.734, then we will accept H0. If it is in, in this range, we will accept H0. On the other hand, if the value which we calculate, if it is less than minus 1.734 or, or if it is greater than 1.734, then we will reject H0. So, this is called the region of rejection and this is called the acceptance region. So, this is the acceptance region. So, this is with respect to finding the critical t values for left tail and two tail test. Moving on to the next question, suppose that a 95 percent confidence interval states that population mean is greater than 100 and less than 300. How would you interpret this statement? So, here it is a it is given that 95% confidence interval states that population mean is 
greater than 100 and less than it is 300. So, we, we are asked to interpret this statement. Here we can interpret this as we are 95% confident that the population mean lies between 100 and 300. So, that, that is how this statement should be interpreted. We are 95% confident that the population mean is between 100 and 300. So, this is the interpretation of this statement. Moving on to the next question. A shoemaker company produces a specific model of shoes having 15 months average lifetime. One of the employees in their R&D division claims to have developed a product that lasts longer. This latest product was worn by 30 people and lasted an average of 17 months. The variability of the original shoe is estimated based on the standard deviation of the new group which is 5.5 months. Is the designer's claim of a better shoe supported by the findings of the trial? Make your decision using two tail testing using a level of significance of p less than 0 0.05. So here it is given the average lifetime of a shoe which a company produces it is 15 months and there is one employee in the R&D division he claimed that he has developed a product for which the average lifetime is 17 months and the standard deviation is 5.5 months. Now we need to check whether the designer's claim of a better shoe is supported by the findings of the trial and we have to use two tail testing with p less than 0 0.05 that is level of significance is 0 0.05. So here the null hypothesis H0 is there is no significant difference between the average lifetime of the original and the new shoes. And the alternate hypothesis will be there is significant difference between the average lifetime of original and the new shoes. And now coming to step 2. The test statistic it is given by t is equal to x bar minus mu upon s by root of n minus 1. So here what all is given let us write. Here mu is 15. So, the population mean is 15 months and then the sample mean is 17 months. X bar is 17 months. Then the sample size, the shoes were worn by, it is given 30 people. So, the sample size is 30 and the sample standard deviation, the standard deviation of the new group which is 5.5 months. It is 5.5 months. So, using these data let us find the test statistic t. So, t is equal to 17 minus 15 upon 5.5 into root of, I am sorry, divided by root of 30 minus 1. So, this is equal to 2 by 5.5 into root of 29 which is 5.39. So, this when we simplify we get it as 1.96. So, the calculated t value is 1.96. Now, this calculated t value we have to check whether it is more than or less than the critical value of t at 5% level of significance and 29 degrees of freedom because n is 30 number of degrees of freedom will be n minus 1 which is 29. So, for 29 degrees of freedom and 5% level of significance it is area in two tail the critical t value is 2.045. So, the third step is at 5% level with degrees of freedom equal to 29. We have critical T value. It is equal to 
2.045 and the calculated value which we got was 1.96 so we get calculated t value is less than critical t value now the next step step 4 Hence, the null hypothesis is accepted at 5% level of significance. Hence, the designer's claim of a better shoe is not supported by the findings of the trial. It means there is no significant difference between the average lifetime of the original shoes and the new shoes which was developed.